Hello guys, welcome back. Do you want to get the latest market updates? So watch this episode of Stock For Us. Stocks have put together a pretty impressive run over the past few weeks, even with the collapses and chaos that rocked the banking sector last month. The Dow enters this week on a four-week positive streak, while the S&P 500 and NASDAQ have each posted four winning weeks out of the past five. Stocks didn't exactly set the world on fire Monday, but they finished in the green nonetheless. Things should get more interesting Tuesday particularly after China's GDP report and as more companies post earnings. Now that we're more than a full quarter into the year, investors will be keen to look for any changes in companies' outlook and for insights into the state of the consumer, since there are increasing signs that the otherwise hot economy is slowing down. Here are this week's top stories so far. China's GDP for the first quarter was a win for the bulls. The country's economy grew at a 4.5% annual rate in the first three months of the year, according to China's National Bureau of Statistics, easily topping estimates of 4%. That's the best annual GDP growth rate for China in a year. Apple introduced a long-promised high-yield savings account with Goldman Sachs, turning to a key partner to push deeper into financial services. The new offering will let Apple Card users earn a 4.15% annual yield, more than 10 times the national average. Only 10 electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles will qualify for $7,500 federal tax credits in the U.S. after stricter battery sourcing rules take effect and render most plug-in models ineligible. Bank of America posted its quarterly results early Tuesday beating expectations on the top and bottom lines due to a boost from higher rates. Goldman Sachs also reported Tuesday morning, although its bond trading results came in weaker than expected. Morgan Stanley is slated to report its results Wednesday morning. Okay, guys, let me review the indices, and here is the SPY, S&P 500 ETF. SPY completely reached to my target around 416. As you see, this level is the resistance area, and one time it couldn't pass this resistance. So we have to wait and see if it could pass this resistance, and then going to this resistance area around 425. Let me switch to one hour chart. As you see, we have an uptrend channel here, and now it reached to the top of this channel around 416. So it could go down again to 409 or 410, which is the bottom of this channel. Here is the fear and greed index, and as you see, we are in the greed area close to the extreme greed. So I believe we could see some kind of correction in the markets. And here is the NASDAQ chart. So far, NASDAQ couldn't pass this resistance area around 12,200. If it couldn't pass this resistance, there is a possibility to go down to this level first around 11,400. So it's better to be cautious around this level. If it could pass this resistance area, then it could go up to this level first around 12,600. And here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. As you see, it reached to the top of this channel, which is the resistance area, and so far, it couldn't pass this resistance. Dow Jones could be corrected to this level, around 33,400, and then try again to break this resistance. Totally, the indices is showing reaching to the resistance area, and there could be a possibility of the correction in the markets. But still, there is a chance to break this resistance and go to the next resistance level. I believe all R depends on the earnings season, which has started last week. This week is a busy week for the earnings. Today, on Tuesday, we have Bank of America, Johnson & Johnson, Netflix, United. And tomorrow, we have Tesla, IBM, NASDAQ, Morgan & Stanley. And Thursday, we have TSMC. PPG, American Express, AT&T, 
and on Friday we have PNG, SAP and Regions Bank. Okay guys, let me review the cryptocurrencies and here is the Bitcoin chart. As you see, here is the resistance area for Bitcoin. It reached above 31,000, which almost reached my target. And now we could see kind of correction from this level. The first level for correction is around 28,000. And then the next level could be this level around 25,000. And here is the Ethereum chart. Ethereum reached to this resistance area as we discussed several times. Now we could see some kind of correction and the first target could be this level around 1800. Okay, let me change to the daily chart. So if it could pass this resistance area, the next resistance level is around 2400. And then the next resistance could be this level around 2800. The 2400 level is not that much strong, but 2800 is a strong resistance. Totally, the markets are in resistance area and the greed index is very high. Totally, it's better to be cautious right now for maybe about a month. I believe markets could be turning and go down until end of the May. Okay guys, it was my review about the stock markets and cryptocurrencies. Wish you a very good week and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.